How do I know if my child is too sick for school? We'd like you to measure the child's temperature if it's continuously above 100.5 or 38 degrees centigrade then your child most likely is having a viral illness or a bacterial illness and may need to see their physician but probably should be left out of school so they don't contaminate the rest of the school with the same virus. If your child vomits once, that may not be a problem, but if they're vomiting multiple times, this may be the hallmark that they're either very ill or they may have something else going on that we'd like you to see the physician for as well. If they're having diarrhea, uh, if that diarrhea is just a one-time issue, it might have been a food that they ate or something like that, but if they continuously have diarrhea two or three times, or God forbid if there's blood in the stool, those would be all reasons that you go see the doctor versus go to school with those types of um, symptoms. Other issues would be a cough. Now if you're coughing and it's just a, an irritant cough or a habitual cough where you're coughing every once in a while, those are not a reason to necessarily not go to school. But if you're coughing and it's obvious that you're bringing up mucus and you're sick and you have a viral illness, then that would be another reason to stay home. Other things would be bad headaches um, that you really can't concentrate or are, are incapacitated by. That would be a reason not to go to school and maybe come to see your physician for. Rashes are also a good uh, thing that parents need to watch. Now if it's a sunburn or a reaction to a lotion or something like that, that may be a, something that you could put on topically or Benadryl that you could take. But if it really does look like a viral rash or um, a rash that's related to um, an infectious reason, then that would be a reason maybe to hold back and see your physician as well. When can my child return to school after being sick? Most viruses last three to five days for their sickness level meaning that you're likely to infect other people. So once that virus has passed and the fever's gone away or um, and the child is looking better, once the fever's gone for 24 hours, usually we say you can return to school. The rashes are a little different. If the rash has been proven to be viral and, you're, and your fever's gone, even if you still have the rash, you're, you're not contagious at that point. Um, it, this is true also for um, viruses of diarrhea and stooling or vomiting and cough. Usually the cough may take a lot longer to go away, so you may still have a minimal cough, but you should be able to go back to school as long as the cough is not irritating you to the point that you can't concentrate or irritating your classmates. And the others would be um, if the diarrhea has stopped for 24 hours and if the vomiting has stopped for 24 hours. Those would be good sort of um, hallmarks to decide when to send your child back.